So I come into mine and Ryan's room, right? And there is a pile of washing that's clean. It's just come out of the tumble dryer. It was obviously a little bit damp, but now it's completely dry. And where it's been piled up in this ball, it's all really, really creased. To most people that would be like, oh, that's really nice. He did the washing for you, but not to me because now I have to iron every single item of clothing because it's covered in creases. If only he had hung it up when he had taken it out of the tumble dryer, we wouldn't have this problem. And I've told him this about 25 times and it's happened about 35 times and um, apparently we don't learn from these mistakes and we just keep doing the same thing. And that's what I've learned about living together, folks. Although let's be honest, I am way worse to live with. So I'm sure you are probably aware that me and Ryan, my boyfriend, live together in this place that I'm filming in right now. We bought a house together uh, about six, seven months ago, something like that. And it's gone amazingly. We've done up the place. Um, well, I say we've done up the place. We started to do up the place. We've gradually stopped doing up the place. We're planning to do up the place more. Um, it's a whole process. But I am loving every second of it. I am so, so, so pleased we did it when we did. We just kind of jumped in it. We found the house. We were like, let's do it now, even though we planned not to do it for another six months. And I'm so pleased. It's all worked out amazingly. However, there are quite a few things I've learned about living with Ryan, about myself and about living with him, or probably just about living with someone, because I've never lived with anyone. I've never lived with a friend um, in our own place. I've always lived with my family, my parents, my sister, my brother. And so, um, yeah, I've learned, so I've learned a lot and I thought I would do a video on it, just in case you're interested or you might find it helpful. You'll learn a lot about a person by living with them. And I'm not just on about like a few facts here and then, you'll learn more about like their emotions, you'll learn more about how they sleep. I don't think Ryan quite realised how much I shout in my sleep. Um, and I didn't realise quite how much I shouted in my sleep either, so there's a uh, fun one for you. Ryan's quite used to it, um, but he said that sometimes I literally scream and shout in my sleep and that's the bit that scares him. And you're probably thinking, didn't he know about you talking in your sleep when you stayed at his or when he stayed at your parents? I just think that, I think maybe I wasn't sleeping as deeply when I was there because I was a little bit more on edge, whereas this is mine and Ryan's place. So I think I probably like sleep deeper and I sleep longer and feel more comfortable. So obviously my dreams are coming out and these words are coming out of my mouth. Well, not words, apparently they're like groans. But yeah, um, you learn a lot about someone, sometimes for the good and sometimes for the bad. I don't know if I can actually say that I've learned anything bad about Ryan though. And I feel like me and Ryan knew a lot about each other beforehand. For example, Ryan knows that if I do this weird thing with my jaw, it looks a bit weird in public, but like that, it's because I have a pain here, which is because my back hurts, I get a bad back. And so I move my jaw like that. And Ryan knows instantly that if I do that, my back hurts and he'll like offer me a massage. Now, nobody else has ever worked that out. Ryan actually mentioned that last night to my mum. My mum was like, oh my God, I never knew that's why she did it. I didn't even know that's why I did it, but spending so much time with Ryan and him seeing me, you know, every morning and every evening and all throughout the day and stuff, you kind of pick up on these small little things that you wouldn't know and I didn't know. So yeah, so you learn a lot about a person when you live with them. I like to think I'm quite aware of how the world works, but I kind of didn't work out quite how disgusting it is to have that money leaving your bank account every month. And I'm not even just talking about, you know, like gas and electric and water and your phone and internet. I'm talking about the little things that add up like Netflix and Spotify, Amazon Prime, all these little things sound great. And all these little things are fine when you're living with your family, but when you move out and then you're paying all of those as well as everything else and council tax and for your car park space and all of that and it all comes together and then you split it and the mortgage and everything like that, oh wow. So just make sure if you're planning to move out, a little tip from me, please make sure you budget properly. Me and Ryan actually over budgeted when we were like working out everything and somehow we spend more than that each month. Pretty sure it's because we overindulge in food and we buy gin and tonics and things like that at the weekend. But um, yeah, it adds up really fast. It's crazy. And council tax, <sighs> council tax is a pricey one. Another thing I've learned is that I get very grumpy if I don't have lots of sleep. I've always known that I have lots of sleep for a human being. Um, I could quite happily have 12 hours of sleep a night, I think. When I wasn't dating Ryan and I didn't really have much to do in the evenings and things like that, I would go to bed about nine o'clock and then I'd wake up about eight o'clock. 
That's like 11 hours sleep, that's ridiculous. But I love my sleep. And if there's anything that I've learned since I've lived with Ryan and we've had a puppy who likes to cry at night, it's that I get really grumpy when I've had no sleep. And I hate to admit it, but I definitely take it out on the only person that's there in front of me. And that is Ryan. Um, it is something that I'm aware of now. And by taking it out on him, I don't mean like shouting at him. I just mean being a bit grumpy and agitated, which most people would be if they got woken up from their sleep. But um, it's definitely a habit that I want to get out of doing because it's not his fault and it shouldn't be taken out on him. I do genuinely believe if it was anyone else there though and Ryan wasn't around and it was Amelia there, I'd be exactly the same way. But it's a habit that I'm trying to get out of. I have a really bad habit of not turning lights off, which my dad has always gone about when I lived with him. He always said, make sure you turn your lights off. And it was never actually me, it was always Amelia or Henry that never turned their bedroom lights off when you left the house. You know, to save on electricity and things like that. But since I've been paying the bills, I've become very, very aware of it. And I have a huge problem with just not turning the lights off. And turning the lights on when I don't need to, you know? I have windows, loads of bright light coming in our house, and I still turn the lights on, even though there's no need for them in the room. I think it comes down to the fact that I'm usually at home on my own. I think it makes me feel like there's other people in the house. I don't know if you've ever babysat for someone, um, and it's really dark, and you feel a bit creeped out, or this could just be me you would turn the lights on so it feels like someone's in the house with you or it feels like it's daylight and it's less creepy. I think I do that just because I'm working from home. Um, I literally have every light on in the house for no reason, including the bathroom light upstairs when I'm downstairs. Teamwork is something I think me and Ryan are really, really good at. You know, the things that he's good at, I'm not so good at, and the things I'm good at, he's not so good at, and the things he's not so good at, I'm good at, vice versa. And I think that's a huge key in like having a good relationship with your partner. If there's anything I've learned from living with him, it's that. That I'm really lucky to have someone that is always there to help me. It's someone that I can always depend on. And I hope he feels the same way too. He's my best friend and he's someone that I can always count on. And I think that's really important. And yeah, living with him has definitely made me realise how lucky I am. So there were some of the things that I've learned. It's kind of for me to look back on. I'm going to use this video, yeah, definitely a sign that I can look back on. But I also would have liked to have watched a video like this when I moved in with Ryan, just to know what kind of things I should look out for, or things that um, people have experienced before, and to know that there are problems that I'll have to face if I was moving in with Ryan. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. We'll have a new video hopefully out for you on Monday. We have daily vlogs going out practically every night. Um, we've been, we've missed a few here and there recently, but yeah, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also please make sure you click on this icon next to the subscribe button if you want to see more of our videos. YouTube has basically admitted that unless you press that button, that little cogwheel saying you want to be notified, they cannot guarantee that the videos will be in your subscription feed. Um, and or, or something like that and obviously it's a little bit worrying because we're creating the videos for you guys you guys subscribe to us for a reason and it would be really nice if you could see the videos that we're creating for you so please do that please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it so that it has even more of a chance of being seen and i will see you on monday thank you guys